Claire B. Lang is standing by here in the media center, and Kyle is walking this way. And I want to wish, on behalf of everybody listening on Sirius NASCAR Radio, Kyle Bush, a congratulations on the win, and happy birthday, Kyle. Well, I appreciate it. I think I got about nine minutes and 54 <laughs> seconds or something. But, uh, you know, no, it's it's great to come to Richmond all the time. I love coming here, you know, and winning this race. And thank Crown Royal and what they do with, uh, with Heath tonight. You know, it's cool to meet him in victory lane. So, uh, really, you know, it was a great night for us. We were really fast there in the beginning of the race, had a great race car, fell a little bit behind, made some pit calls and some adjustments to the car to try to make it better and got up there at the end. For all the young kids and for everybody listening who might want to be a racer or dream to be a racer, everybody says when the restart happened, oh, Kyle's good on the restarts. But you have put a lot of work into that. It's not something that, you know, you were just born with, although you have talent. Can you talk about that and talk us through the restart? You know, it's it's just about getting the most out of your race car on fresh tires. You know, a lot of people like to work up to what their car is, to what the tires will give them. Me, I just, I'd rather see them slip than anything, you know. So uh, I've just always learned that. I've always done that at the local short tracks. My dad's always taught me uh, about how to come through the gears, about how to shift any kind of gearbox I've ever run, whether it's been two speeds, three speeds, Legends cars, you run five speeds, you know. So um, it's been everything, and I was one of the – few very very few guys at the bull ring in vegas to ever go to the outside on a restart and i'd always do it you know people always knew i was going out there and i'd make up spots with it you know and here it, it didn't matter if you're inside or outside you got to try to get some spots when you can in victory lane your crew chief told me what a special relationship he has with you this is his first win in the sprint cup series you mean a lot to him and i wonder if you can talk through getting him his win well i mean it's awesome to be able to get a win anytime in the in the sprint cup series especially it's so hard um, you know, but for Dave coming on board late last year and getting his feet wet and then this year really working hard and, and spending a lot of time in the shop making these race cars better and taking all the criticism that he did early in the year for pit calls and whatnot, you know, it's it's not Dave's fault. I mean, it's just circumstances. It's chance. You work through those things. You know, sometimes they're going to pay off for us. Sometimes they're not, you know, and I've been frustrated with it. Dave's been frustrated with it. We want to win, but, um, you know, we know that they'll be coming to us. So, Hopefully this is just the building blocks that we keep laying down for what happens uh, towards the end of the regular season. And when we get to the chase, hopefully we're ours is highest. And can you talk about the celebration? Coach Gibbs was absolutely giddy. You did a heck of a burnout. The guys on your team, well, you can tell everybody what they did because they were going crazy. They were dumping stuff on top of people's heads. Talk about the whole celebration. Well, I think they're still celebrating. So, uh, you know, it's a big night. Anytime we can win, especially for Dave, you know, the guys are pulling behind Dave so hard. And Dave's had a lot of conversations with the guys in the shop about, hey, you know, Kyle's really dug in deep this year. He's really changed. He's really been patient with us. We need to give him the most that we can give him. So Dave's been great. And, um, you know, we work well together. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for Dave. And Dave's got a lot of respect for me. So when it goes hand in hand like that, you know, there's going to be times that we struggle. There's going to be times we fight. I know there will be. Uh, We've got the same mentality. So there could be a time we blow up. But uh, we'll make it all work out. And 1 to 10, the burnout on a, on a scale of 1 to 10? I can't rate it. I didn't see it. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Kyle Bush wins the race, and he's headed to victory lane where he's going to celebrate his birthday.